This is an instructional video tutorial and demo of the Ramage Imager series. Okay, what we have here is the uh, Ramage Professional Disk Duplication System. The system consists of one controller, multi multi unit controller, the ALF unit, the control pad on the right, and three separate duplication systems of which one is set up here right now. So let's take a closer look at each of these components. Okay, today is September 30th, 2017 for the test. First thing we're going to do is power up the ALF controller and it'll go through a self-test. Okay, the back of the unit on the controller right here is the power plug a cable, and you'll see that the cable can plug into drive 1 or drive 2 or drive 3. We're plugging into drive 1, which is the bottom one. Just plug the cable in and screw it in. The right end of the cable gets plugged into the drive. We've got the power here. We suggest the power be plugged into a surge protector. Make sure you have a good power supply and there's no spikes and the duplicator gets plugged in to the same unit with the surge suppressor. Here's the on off switch off, off, on, on. Okay when you turn that on your duplicator your controller will go through the self-test mode as I showed And as you can see on the screen, it's going through a complete self-test of its circuitry, and you'll see that everything checks out OK. To attach, make sure to complete installation and setup, you want to attach the hopper. And you'll notice on the back, there are these holes here for these screws. You want to make sure you use that and don't put the screws on the bottom or you'll do it the wrong way. You put the screws on the bottom, make sure they're a little loose here, like this. That's wrong because you're covering that eject slot. When you try to jam, the discs try to eject, they'll back up and you'll, you'll ruin the disc. So you don't want to do that. You want to make sure that you attach the holes, the screws to the holes that way, so that when you're done, there is a space over there for the discs to come out. The disc is going to come through there and come down here and stack up on the output stacker. Okay, so to duplicate discs, we're going to load a master and blank disc into the hopper. So first get your master and make sure that it's right protected. In other words, the slots are both shown open. And then insert the disc as shown in the diagram in the hopper. Then take your duplicates, your blanks, and they could be 1 or 50 or I think you could put up to 50 or so in the hopper. Make sure they are right enabled and put them into the hopper. Okay? Okay, we're now going to duplicate some disks from a master. So let's go over to our controller and go to menu and then we'll go to copier one, first copier right there, click enter, and then all we've got to do, it defaults to read original. We want to read the original. Now what's going to happen here is the first disk we load in the hopper will be an original disk because it will be right protected. It will be followed by disks that are right enabled and that will signal the copier that they can duplicate the first disk onto the disks that follow. So now let's go to menu, let's scroll down to copier 1, and let's go to read original. Okay, so what's happening is the original master is now going in, and it's being read into memory. When it's done, it will eject the master into the output bin right here. 
and then it will start reading blank discs and duplicate the master on those blank discs. Okay, so there's the original one right here. And the copies will be right on top of those. Okay, so it shows no errors and now it is duplicating the first disk. And again you'll see a countdown. Should you have other duplicators online, two and three would show those numbers simultaneously with what's going on in uh, copier number one. And this will duplicate unattended for as long as there are disks in the hopper or you can program a certain quantity of disks that you want duplicated. If you have multiple copiers connected to this controller, and you can have up to three, the controller can independently control all three copiers, and they can all be copying at the same time from their respective master disks. Should there be a bad disk because it doesn't verify, this is a copy and verify, it would eject over here, which is a reject bin. So your rejects will be here, your good disks will be here. Okay, so when you're done, just pick up the disks from the hopper. There they are, and they're all duplicated. Formatting unformatted disks. Okay, let's say you have brand new disks, bulk disks, or you have disks that you want to recycle, and you want to format them and verify them. This machine can do that very quickly. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to main menu, menu. Let's go down to first copier, copy one. And let's scroll down here to format. And then we will put the disks in the hopper. They should all be right enabled. Let's put those in the hopper and go ahead and click enter. And our uh, choices to format it is 1.44 megabyte or 720 kilobyte. So let's go the 1.44 MS DOS. And now again, you'll see a countdown of the sector count that's being formatted and verified and you'll see a total count once the disks have been completed and as they are completed you'll see them ejecting into the hopper And this will continue for the entire number of disks in the input stack.